just in time for the holidays it's quick and it's simple and it only involves like two colors and one sparkly eyeshadow so i hope you guys enjoy please subscribe to my channel down below if you like my videos and we're gonna get right into this so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take the smoky eyes 28 color eyeshadow palette from bh cosmetics and we're gonna use the red shade in it and we're gonna take a more condensed brush and pack it all over our lid I really want to build up the color, so I'm going to be dipping into the pan several times to get the color payoff that I want. I got you spinning and thrilling, I'm like a light show, bang bang. It's like I'm going off around it and I'm something you never seen. Once I'm happy with the amount of pigment I got, I, I will start to blend it out all the way out to my outer corner with the same brush that I've been using this whole time to pack it on. As you can see here, I'm starting to wing it out and I am taking my blending brush and I am just blending out the pigment out towards my eyebrows. Before, you know what you want some more, I got you ill and I'm chilling that JJ beat we be spilling and I'm a light, brighter than a diamond with the flash fast. I always like a really blended look, so this place takes me quite a while to blend out, but by the end of it, you'll definitely love it as it'll be great, kind of like a smoky, dramatic effect. And we're still blending because I'm psychotic. This whole blending took me about 5 to 10 minutes because I'm obsessed with blended edges and I don't like any harsh lines. So once I've got the shape that I want with the first red color, I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette and use the shade Jax, J-A-C-Z. I'm going to pack that on my outer corner and in my crease, blending it all the way out to the tip of the eyeshadow. We're always going to blend for like an hour because I'm obsessed with blended looks and I just need it to be completely blended out with no harsh lines. Obviously, you do not have to blend it out as much as I did. If you want a sharp line on the outer corner, that's totally up to you, but I just prefer a blended look. It doesn't really matter what the entire lid looks like, just as long as the outer corners and the crease are blended together with the first red color. And again, as you can see, I dipped in a few times because I really want a rich color. I started this video yesterday, and I refilmed the whole thing today because I didn't like how the color payoff looked in the camera. And then I take another fluffy brush with nothing on it and I just blend out any harsh lines as I do because, like I said, I need it to be blended. Ah. Literally, this makeup look should have took me like five minutes, but because I'm obsessed with blending out my edges, that took me about like a half hour. And then, like I said, you didn't need to focus too much on the lid space because we are going to add the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And it's basically just a glitter, a liquid glitter. And we're going to pack that all over the lid. I didn't use a glitter glue for this because I don't think it needs it. It dries down pretty well. And I have had it last all day. So as far as I know, I've never had to use one with it. But it is totally up to you. And then I'm going to take the color beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette again and just pop that in my inner corner. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and take the same color beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just going to place that in my arch. And then I'm going to take another condensed brush under my eye and I'm going to use the color Jax again and pack it under my waterline. And then I'm also going to take the color Soda Pop in the outer corner and blend those two together. My facial expressions are, are so ugly sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. And 
And then finally we're at mascara and I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blush Fusion in the shade Black. As you can see when I'm doing the lower lash line that I'm kind of moving the wand back and forth on my eyelashes. And this I think really helps to build up the product and makes them more full looking. And now I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I will be right back. Back. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I think it turned out really awesome. I love the smoked out effect and I love this little hint of glitter on all over my eyelids. I think it's really fun, festive, and I think it's really easy to do as well. So if you guys like this video, as I said in the beginning, please subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!